Forgiveness brings freedom. Reading from scripture, Hebrews chapter 11 verses 14 to 15. Pursue peace with all people and holiness, without which no one will see the Lord. Looking carefully, lest anyone fall short of the grace of God, lest any root of bitterness springing up causes trouble, and by this many become defiled. Unforgiveness of offences and hurt caused against us has the power to create negative feelings or negative attitudes. We tend to harbour bitterness and resentment against the other. Anger and rage can come within the depths of the heart that could lead to further animosity or strife or spite. These emotions have the potential to fester and rot within us, leading us to act and behave in ways that seek vengeance against the offender. The Bible says in James 1 verse 20 that the resentful and deep-seated anger of man does not produce the righteousness of God. These destructive emotions has the potential to destroy us and keep us away from what God really desires for us. Even science has shown us that unforgiveness puts an enormous burden on our physical health and forgiveness is known to calm our stress levels and improve our general health. Harboring unforgiveness is like keeping ourselves locked in a prison cell where we voluntarily bind ourselves in anger and resentment, in torment and hatred. In reality, like we said, it does nothing to do with the, with the offender, but rather it only blocks us away from the freedom and the fullness that God desires for each of us. So how does the freedom from these negative attitudes come? Freedom first of all comes by us releasing all the pain and the hurt that we feel to God. By praying, preparing our hearts and confessing every ill feeling that we have. 2 Corinthians 3 verse 17 says that where the Spirit of the Lord is, there there is freedom. This freedom comes also by the empowering of the Holy Spirit who helps us to love others and to deal with others with God kind of love. This love that the Spirit pours out into us enables us to keep aside every form of bitterness or hatred or anger and move forward to release the forgiveness that God has commanded us to do. If you have been offended, there is no need to be caged in a prison of unforgiveness. He does not want us there. Remember, we are not alone, but the Spirit is present and there to aid us and help us to extend forgiveness so that we can live a life of freedom and fullness from all the bitter thoughts and anger and walk in the freedom that only His forgiveness can bring. Let us pray. Father God, we thank you for the way that you have taught us to forgive. We pray that even as we think of someone we have not forgiven today, we bring before you those ill feelings. We bring before you the resentment and anger we feel. We confess it to you. We ask that you forgive us. And by your Spirit, pour out your love into our lives so that we can extend the forgiveness that you have shown to us. Teach us to release our hurt, our pain, our anger, our torment to you and take on the freedom that you have promised us by your Spirit. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.